Hello, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. We're looking at John chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Jesus wanted Peter to say it out loud. Three times Peter had denied Jesus publicly, and now three times Jesus asked him, do you love me? Peter was hurt, but it was good for Jesus to keep asking. Jesus knew Peter had repented of his sin and was forgiven. He knew Peter loved him. But Jesus also knew that Peter needed to say it out loud. We need to say it out loud too. We have painful memories of past transgressions. So many of our words have so often been so wrong. The angry words we should have kept to ourselves. The judgmental words we had no right to speak. But our Savior Jesus Christ has paid the price for every sinful word you and I have spoken. In him, we are forgiven, fellow sinner. And now the love we have for God is just itching to be heard. So, fellow believer loved by the Lord, let your heart's love for Jesus be also on your lips. When you're in church and it's time to say the creed, or when a Christian friend is struggling, or when an unbelieving friend gives you an opening to talk about faith, don't keep your love for your Savior to yourself. The same Lord who has forgiven you all your sins has also given you the desire and the ability to say it out loud. Jesus had big plans for Peter. As one of Jesus' apostles, Peter would bring many other sheep and lambs into the green pastures of the Good Shepherd. Peter's whole life would be dedicated to telling the world of Jesus' love for him and Peter's love for Jesus. Fellow believer, Jesus has big plans for you, too. The same Savior who has forgiven you all your sins will also fill your life with opportunities to say out loud, just how much you love him. Let's pray. Dear Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Amen. We'll see you next time.